So I was getting a master's in clinical psychology in 1994. In my book it says, by the age of seven your brain crystallizes. 1994, brain crystallizes. Okay, crystallizes means all of your brain cells have formed. If you kill them, they die. You don't grow back, you're dead, that's it. So don't get in a car accident, don't smoke dope, don't do drugs, drugs. That, you know, fry any eggs inside your skull. I was like, that's weird. So uh, you're telling me that every part of my body regenerates in approximately 24 to 48 days, and yet my brain is there the same, always the same? That's weird. So now that they can take the skull off and take a picture of it, they did it. And so they took a picture, let the guy go, came back seven days later, took another picture of it, and it changed. For the first time, neuroscientists were looking at a braid that changed. Like, how did that happen? It was supposed to be the same. So like, whew, change. So why did it change? How did it change? Why does it change? When does it change? <sighs> Neuroscience. New frontier. Kicked in about 1995. So 95 or 98% of what we learned about the brain, we will learn within the last 10 to 15 years. So how long have we been on the planet? You know, think of the slice that we're living in right now, neuroscience. So 80% of what we thought we knew was true has now turned out to be false. Thus, good timing for a seminar. <laughs> so OK, so the, the brain changed. It grew. It evolved. It, you know, it atrophied. What is that called? They called it neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity. They said, all right, so it can grow. Neurogenesis. Your brain can grow. So now that they have a name for it, now that they've seen it grow, they're watching new pathways. You actually change your DNA from generation to generation with your thoughts that become beliefs. You actually turn DNA off which means you can change your genetic code. So who says I'm big boned, right? Oh, my family's big boned, my grandma's big boned, like I'm just supposed to be, right? Just supposed to be heavy set. It's in my genes. It's all hogwash, hogwash. So there's a word called inculcation. Inculcate or inculcation. It's to, who wants to read it? Impress on the mind ideas, thoughts through repetitiveness like in repetitive teaching? Inculcate. Inculcate. You impress upon over and over and over again. So it's inculcate to automate. Hmm. Trademark. <laughs> right, now. right now. So we'll be using that the next 12 weeks. Inculcate. It's a cute, cool, fantastic, four-syllable word that means get do it over and over and over again. Inculcation. 